so now this rubric is ready if you just click on it it definitely says it has got three criteria and it is of 20 points so if you click on it you will be able to see it in this format these are your criteria so the first or first was content second is structuring of the content third is grammar punctuation and spellings and each of them will have these levels so this is the rubric in precise form now let's say i want to share this rubric with a co-teacher then also it's very simple i mean sharing this rubric is very simple what you just have to do is you click on this button here and here the first option that it gives us to edit it so you can go ahead and edit now the third option the second option is delete of course and the third option is export to sheets now if i click on export to sheets it is going to create a google sheet and now this it shows is complete and now when i click on view you will be able to see the corresponding google sheet so this is your rubric in this spreadsheet format you can see uh, of course it's recommended that you do not edit rubric in this format now this corresponds to the content component this is content structuring of content grammar the three levels so and as well as the description of those levels everything is there right here so now if you want to share it with a co-teacher what or with anybody else for that matter what you just have to do is click on share and provide the name or the email id of that teacher and share with that particular person so this is how you can actually share and also if you would like to import this rubric from this google sheet of course classroom provides us with that option so this is our rubric and if you click on edit it opens up this again for you and you can do any editing that you like here so this is how this works now let's go ahead and assign this particular assignment so now when i click on assign this will be assigned to my students and once i start receiving submissions we'll understand how to actually use this rubric also to evaluate the students now let's see if this rubric is available for other assignments so i'm going to create another assignment and let me give it a name so let's say this is assignment two and here when i'm going to get a rubric it takes a little time to open up sometimes okay so now when i click on rubric and i say reuse rubric it is going to open up this classroom and now what you just have to do is click on this and you can preview it so you can see it again or what you just have to do is click on this click on select so now it straight away gives you the option to reuse it if you want to edit it you can definitely go ahead and edit it similarly so if you want to remove it so delete if you want to import this rubric from a sheet you click on import from sheets now here it is going to give you your spreadsheet so this was your spreadsheet click on add so now it is trying to fetch the rubric from there so this is our rubric again click on save and that's it so this is how you can actually very easily reuse the rubric that you created for an earlier assignment with the import sheets you can reuse the rubric as well as from the google sheet and through the reuse rubric you can use any other rubric that you had created